And welcome back to another edition of the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Uh, we're con continuing where we left off the last time about dual deployment altimeters. And uh, I was going to explain um, the altimeter bay. Uh, this is basically a tube coupler. And inside this coupler, we have two bulkheads, one on each end. Um, and then inside is a rail system. You can see it's threaded rods. These are just simple threaded rods, and you can make these yourself, um, but we sell these in a variety of sizes uh, just to make it a little bit more convenient for you. Um, and then you'll have a tray, and this is, they call it a sled, and this gets epoxied to these tubes, and to this, you'll mount your altimeter. And then on the, on the side of the tube, this right here is a, uh, b basically it's a piece of body tube, and here we have a big rocket, and uh, Basically, this part will go in the middle, and then the, the, obviously the nose cone will go on top. And then basically, you'll put your one parachute on the bottom and one on the top, so that when it kicks out, uh, the, when the ejection charges go off, one fires forward, one fires backwards, and then it comes down, um, this will be in the middle, free floating, and then you have shock cord attachments on your bulkheads, one on each end, so that everything stays together. So that is basically um, the electronics bay. These are called electronics bays, and that's how they work. Or avionics bays. Or avionics bays, good. Okay, so now we're, we're continuing our discussion about how to set up and test out your altimeter. So I hope at, at this point everybody has an idea of how to put these together and mount them. Uh, oh, basically, uh, before we do that, Jeff, where does the ejection charges go on these things? Well, there's uh, two primary, uh, I, I think there's probably several different ideas about where to put ejection charges. But there are two primary ideas on, on how to mount uh, the ejection charge capsule that, can, that uh, contains the, the black powder. And you use this, uh, it's just a regular 4F, uh, gunpowder that you can get at a, um, a store that sells um, gunpowder for um, black powder, black, black powder um, muzzle loaders yeah, type of things. Yeah, that kind of thing. Okay. And uh, the, the two, two primary uh, ways of thinking are to uh, either, either mount a, uh, a receptacle on the, the bulkhead and, and then you, you put your black powder inside the uh, it can be like like this is a, uh, a brass cartridge from from a, a rifle or pistol and then uh, you, you can cut it to any length depending on how, how large your your body tube is uh, it, it uh, the volume inside your body tube has to be uh, determined and so that you can um, f figure the right the right amount of, of black powder and where does one go to figure that out? The best place for that is uh, there's a calculator at uh, at UROC, the U Utah uh, Rocketry Club, has a calculator that that includes both um, uh, regular um, uh, black powder uh, calculations for for volume, and it also includes a uh, a calculation if you want to put uh, shear pins in plastic shear pins. Um, which hold everything together until you get the uh, the ejection charge. So if you have shear pins, you're going to use more or less of black powder. You use more black powder when you have shear pins, and and uh, the bigger your rocket gets, the uh, the more the probability is that you're going to need shear pins to hold everything together. Okay. So. Um, so that's one method is, is making a little receptacle and it, you using some kind of uh, igniter inside there to set right. it up. Right. You have you, you put your black powder in and then you put an, an igniter in. Their igniters are commonly available through through many um, vendors um, and and then you you run you run your wires from the altimeter to to the two connections on on the. Uh, the bulkhead, and then from the outside of the bulkhead, you run two wires to to your. Uh, um, so they'll put a, like a terminal block here, yeah. and then the wires up to the. Igniter. Well, um, some people use terminal blocks, and some people actually use. Um, I mean, you can use the the rails on here for one of the connections, 
Um, I mean, obviously you can't use the rails for both connections on, on both uh, ends of the bulkhead, but yeah. Um, the other option is you can actually um, run your wire through the bulkhead without having any terminal blocks and that reduces the, uh, the possibility of having a, a bad connection. So, okay. um, but this is one, one way that people do it. Another way that people uh, build a, a bay for their black powder is to have, and it's probably safer to do it this way, is to have a, a, a PVC pipe um, with a cap on it. Um, and, and that that actually uh, is probably more um, widespread than, than having a, a cartridge.